Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am here to do the final flip through of my everyday planner, which is in this B6 Stalogy notebook. It is the B6 Stalogy 365, and this is what it looks like. This is the final flip through for 2022. I made it through the whole year in this planner. So let's get started. So the cover that I have on here, this leather cover is from MLG and co. I initially, I started out with this notebook in a, the cowboy leather cover. It's a more rustic, uh, brown leather cover. So I decided to use this wood grain and this doll from Coco's vision because I thought it went great with the cover. I have the notebook in a clear cover from Lauren Phelps designs. I also have removed the spine. Uh, I probably will eventually get around to repairing it with book binding tape. But for now, as long as it's in the clear cover, it's holding everything the way it should be. And I'll link to the video where I remove the outer spine uh, cardstock in iCard up above. So this is the dashboard that I made. I did not actually do this dashboard with the original setup of this uh, notebook it happened a, a bit later so I think that's why it's got more of a spring summer vibe this is one of the gray pages that is actually part of the binding that helps hold the notebook together and I just put some random stickers here uh, throughout the year I, I didn't initially start off with anything here this is a DIY vellum that I foiled and tipped in this page kind of evolved over time. I think I started out with this plant washi from Fabulously Creative and then I kind of just started adding things to it. So this doll is from Let's Get Planned and the shiny plants are from Five Below. I'm not sure if you can see but there's some very faint leaves in the background. Those are washi flakes that I received in Happy Mail. Here again, just some random stickers, no rhyme or reason. This quote, create for the sake of creating, was my quote for 2022. This doll, actually, I was going to put her in a spread uh, elsewhere in the planner and didn't use her, so I added her there. This is my future planning, which I really didn't use. So, for instance, I had listed down things that I should start working on in April if I was going to do them. So, for example, Junk Journal July, One Book July, Christmas in July. I should start making plans and prepping for that in April, but I didn't do it. And that's something that I struggle with every year. Also, that kind of really doesn't even go in this planner. This is everyday planner, more personal and home. Um, but my work is so intertwined with personal and home that it's hard to keep them separate, but I, I try to, but maybe I should stop fighting that and just go for it in this planner. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. This was goals and plans and I guess I didn't have any. <laughs> so I just kind of used two dolls from Coco's Vision and the other stickers are from Happy Mail all the way from Japan. This is a printable from craftyplanner.com. It is a year at a glance for 2022 that I just added in there. This is a DIY vellum that I printed using a graphic from Cella Creates and tip that in. These stickers along the edge and the quote, uh, they are all from Cella Creates. Then we move into the monthlies. These monthlies are printables, uh, month on two page that are available to Scrap Craftastic patron elites. So I have the whole year, I put the whole year in the front. I'm not really a fan of that style, but I, if you're using a notebook that's undated or that you have to create your own spreads, it's probably a good idea, especially if you need to do any type of future planning or make notes for things uh, in the future, even though I have the future planning log page, I think having the monthlies in the front is 
probably a good idea and for 2023 i'm considering doing the monthlies in the front and having a monthly actually at the beginning of the month uh, when I start working on the weeks, but these are the monthly pages. I started out here using Zodiac Washi from Simply Gilded and then I didn't do it again. I didn't even remember that I'd done this. So maybe for 2023, I will find a way to incorporate the Zodiac Washi each month. We'll see. But these are the monthly spreads. And for most of this, I used a lot of my own printable stickers. I used a lot of Simply Gilded Washi. And I used a lot of, and I also used stickers from Piper Paper Company. I used stickers from Calava Plan, Isis Ella Jewels, um, Fabulously Creative, Let's Get Planned, and a plethora of uh, sticker shops. I will list all the shops that I typically use in the description box below. Um, for instance, this is mostly Cella Creates and you will also find discount codes where available in the description box below. And I also use Coco's Vision. I think this is one of my favorites. I think probably the last couple of months I got more into the monthlies. Well, maybe not October, which is surprising. I know a lot of people expect me to go all out for October and I really wanted to, but I don't know. I just didn't have that fire this year like I normally do. But anyway, I like November and December. Then we get into the beginning of the weekly and daily pages. This is another DIY foiled vellum that I have glued in here and just a sticker for 2022. This doll sticker is from Coco's Vision and she is standing on a swatch sticker from Cella Creates. Then I have another sticker dashboard, kind of an inspirational thing here. And yeah, just random stickers from a variety of places. I think this is from Paper J, Coco's Vision, JD in Brooklyn, just a mixture of things. These are from Coco's Vision. The washi tape is from Cookie Sticker Co. And this is just me playing around. Uh, I had some blank pages here in the front from my initial setup because I thought I was going to come back and do something with those pages. And I didn't. So I kind of just used them to play around with stickers and washi tape. And this is another example of that. I used some washi tape from Simply Gilded. Then we get into January. So for the first week of January, I did the box spread using basic boxes. These basic boxes were available to Scrap Craftastic patrons and I used them for the days of the week. Then I, after I did the weekly setup, this was intended actually for appointments or regular routine events or things that needed to be done. Then I would have daily pages for journaling. So that is what I did here for that first week. And then I kind of dropped that idea and just went to strictly daily pages. Stickers here are from Cella Creates. The uh, day numbers are from Kel of a Plan. The washi tape is simply gilded, of course. There's a lot of my own printables in here. But it's just moving through January. These are Cella Creates as well. So then on this page, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll make myself like a little movie page. And I started listing movies and shows. Well, movies and shows. I started listing, listing things that I wanted to watch and I was going to come back and decorate it. That never happened. And I never even added any more uh, movies or shows to the list. And here we get into day, more daily pages. This is inspired by a kit from A Little Spark. And even though you wouldn't necessarily think lime green, purple and brown go together, I think they look great together. And this is one of my favorite setups as far as the color schemes. I just think the colors look really nice together. I also incorporated some florals from Keller of a Plan. This was from a washi tape order from Simply Gilded. This is the February page. And I think this was for the week of the Lunar New Year. This was the year of the tiger. And so all I did it all in red and did a, quite a bit of stamping. 
for deco on these pages. And this is where I experimented with using the washi tape going down the side of the page. A lot of these stickers are from Fabulously Creative. And so that is what that looked like. This is another one of my favorites, even though I didn't use it that much and I was sick this week. Um, this is a large journaling spot. And I think I show how to make this in a specific video. If I can find the video, I will link it in the iCard up above. Um, these were stickers that were sent to me in Happy Mail and I used them as somewhat of a border on the page. And I think this turned out really nice. This, I think, was for uh, Black History Month. This doll is from Chella Creates. This is not one of my favorites, um, but I think a it was, I think a lot of people liked it because of the bright colors, and I do like the bright colors. So moving on, this is a sticker from Fabulously Creative. Got a little journaling here, just random. Then this was me preparing for a family staycation. Uh, just having a little fun with stickers. This is the March page. And you'll see quite a bit that I added in printable inserts. These inserts are Hobonichi Weeks style inserts. So they're basically a horizontal week on one page. Um, so I used that quite a bit for 2022. And yep. Here again, I did the washi tape on the sides versus the top and the bottom. This is one of my, the floral is one of my favorite washi tapes and this combination of washi is one of my favorites. The floral washi, both of these are from Simply Gilded, but the floral washi was part of a collab between Archer and Olive and Simply Gilded. And this was the week of the staycation. Then this was the week of spring break. Not a whole lot going on there. Then I did write a little bit about the staycation. This is a random sticker from Crafting by the Pound. Then this is actually a die cut that has stickers on it. So this was created by Fabulously Creative a while ago. And it was an exclusive uh, freebie for Scrap Craftastic patrons. So you can actually pull the stickers off. She used uh, my sticker designs to create it. So the planners and the bows were digitals available to Scrap Craftastic patrons. And you can just peel those off and use them. So I thought this was really cool. I've had it for a while and decided to go ahead and stick it in here kind of as a memory. Here is another week that I did not actually use. I just set it up and didn't use it. Same here, but I did use it a little bit. Then we jump into April. And another weekly setup. Nothing to write home about. And then bam, we get to the week of Easter. And the most fabulous Easter eggs ever from Let's Get Planned. These are some of my favorites. I love everything about this um, deco. And I love, love, love. I know I say it over and over and over again. But Let's Get Planned. I love that they do holidays. It's like the other sticker shops don't do them. And I think the reason that they don't do it is because those items can, won't necessarily sell all year long or at other times. But it is nice to have holiday specific stickers for your planner and I love it. So I really appreciate that from Let's Get Planned. Okay, this is another Let's Get Planned doll with the tulips from Let's Get Planned. This um, spread got a lot of attention and I think it had a lot to do with the tulips in this doll. Then we move on where I started using full box stickers for the days of the week. The full box stickers are from Kell of a Plan and the doll is from Isis Ella Jewels. I think this turned out really nice. Move into May. Most of these stickers here are from Paper J. Then we're back to using basic boxes or colorful boxes. Um, 
with the washi tape down the side. I think that one turned out really great. This was the week of Mother's Day. Then here I kind of went a little off track. <laughs> I tried turning the boxes horizontally instead of vertically, which works fine. And then I did um, full box stickers on the sides as borders. I think maybe they just didn't have enough contrast between them that I, I really didn't like the way that turned out. But had to experiment a little bit. Then I did some journaling, just jotting down some ideas and notes. These stickers are from Paper J. This is Paper J, more notes. This dashboard is from Let's Get Planned. And then I tried the horizontal uh, stickers again and actually these are DIY colorful boxes using a Tombow marker and my Happy Planner uh, box punch. I just punched the sticker paper and went around the edge with the Tombow marker in the color that I wanted. That is a great way to make your own boxes. You don't even need the punch. You can just cut your boxes whatever size you want and do the edge with your Tombow marker. So uh, this was again another attempt at the horizontal layout and this time I put the boxes down the center and these four boxes are from Isis Ella Jules. More journaling. This dashboard is from Coco's Vision as are well this is a dashboard this is a die cut sticker and I kind of just was playing around adding those in. This is a basic week where you divide the page into four and I use some washi tape from Cookie Sticker Co and some grid washi that was sent to me in Happy Mail. I'm not sure, but I think this doll is from Coco's Vision. This doll is definitely from Coco's Vision. This is a week on four pages. One, two, three, four. So you have two columns per page. I kind of like this style as well. This was the week of Memorial Day. Then I did that again here using full box stickers and lots of deco, probably too much, but this is how it turned out. Then we get into June and I decorated with Juneteenth stickers here from Let's Get Plan. The washi tape is from Cookie Sticker Co. And this one is the divide the page in four. Then we moved on to back to daily pages. Kind of got a light and airy look. Then boom, here we go with Gone with the Wind Fabulous. I love this doll from Isis Ella Jules. It's so nice. And I find that on the weeks when I use something that I really, really, really like, sometimes I won't write on the spread. I don't know why that is. But this is this doll is, yeah, she's fierce. Love it. Okay, and then we get into July. I don't know what I was doing here. This is a DIY acetate where I printed some florals from Chella Creates on the acetate. This was a graphic that I had in my stash and I made a July vellum with that and just tipped it in. Then this was the week of the 4th of July. I think this doll is from Let's Get Planned. I think both of them are actually. Then we get into where I was experimenting with an insert that would allow you to do pretty much a classic size spread in a B6 planner. So I tipped it in and this is what it looks like. You could do a no white space spread here. You have your whole week in one. This little flap here has your sidebar information and it folds up and closes neatly into your notebook. Now you probably wouldn't want to do this every week because it is extremely bulky, but it's fun if you want to play around with a kit and do a throwback style spread where you use a kit and do no white space. So and then you can decorate the front however you choose. On the other page I used a dashboard from Let's Get Planned. Then here we go back with the Hobonichi style weeks. I also added this sticker uh, inspired by Kel of a Plan. It's a different style journaling sticker.
this is another dashboard from let's get plan here i did a little measuring in nostalgia um, basically to do examples of the different styles of spreads you can do in the b6 stylogy i will link to that video in icard up above but this was the dividing the page in four for a, a weekly setup this is vertical weeks this is the half vertical weeks this is the four again and then this is the horizontal so as we go i will show examples of those this is the divide the page in four this is one way you can do it i did this one with full boxes and date covers this is the vertical where you can do a vertical spread you'd have a split weekend but still a nice vertical this is the half vertical where you have extra room down at the bottom this is another example of the half vertical and then this is the horizontal this is an example of dividing the page in four it's using basically washi tape so moving on this is september these this deco this style these dolls these boxes are from let's get planned and here we go i think this is when i started using the tombow to define the lines on the pages then this again with the washi tape down the side i tipped in my um, badge sticker that i had to go to the kids school that week and so i just kind of kept it and tipped it in here i also tipped in the candle care information for the candle i have from isis ella jewels and yeah a lot of these stickers are from isis ella jewels and then this is another one of my favorites um this is leftovers from a halloween kit from let's get planned the doll is from coco's vision the washi tape which matched perfectly is from simply gilded and so that is what that looks like i think the kit was love spell from uh, let's get planned then here i'm using the printable DIY planners that are available to Scrap Craftastic patrons. This was the October printable. I just reduced the size and chose which pages I wanted to use to add to my planner. So these are printables. And then here I had some printables to add in and then add the information that's on the sticky notes. I never got around to doing that. And so that's life. <laughs> I just will leave that in there just like that. I even, you know, had left blank pages for it, but I just never got to it. So I'll just leave that there. Then here I was still feeling kind of blah about planning. So I used a digital that I had from SS Digital. These are digitals really for junk journals or making your own journals, uh, digital papers. I just reduced the size and added it in here and used the Hobonichi Week style uh, weekly for that week. And I did the same thing here. Just put the dashboard on the opposite page. OK, then I was starting to feel a little more creative, wanted to bring a little more creativity into the notebook. So I used stamping. I used inks for the coloring here. I drew out my boxes. And the dolls are um, from Coco's Vision. They were specifically for Halloween. So there's that. And this, I think that came out really nice. I kind of like drawing in my own spreads and doing the stamping and everything. And I probably will do more of that in 2023. Here I tried to do a little mixed media look, uh, a creative journaling spread for Halloween. And then this is my November page. This is a dashboard sticker from Isis Ella Jewels. 
you know, usually you get like a free dashboard or four by six card uh, when you place an order from a lot of the sticker shops. And I asked if she could possibly do them as stickers instead of a card. That way it's less bulk if you want to add it into your planner and it's just more useful. You can, I feel like I can get more use out of the sticker dashboard than I can out of just the card dashboard. So I love this and I'm so glad that they did it and I hope they continue with it. These to me are just great. I love it. So again, this is November. Again, I was feeling creative. So I drew out my pages and I made them like file folders. And the dolls here are from Isis Ella Jewels. Then we get here with more of decorative uh, daily pages using stickers from a variety of places. So let's get planned. Chella Creates, Coco's Vision, and some of my own uh, stickers. This is Chella Creates, and we get into the Thanksgiving planner. I took a few of the pages. This planner is available to Scrap Craftastic patrons, but I used a few of the pages here to do my own Thanksgiving planning. And this is what it looks like. Then we move up. Oh, and I also tipped in my shopping list once I was finished, just so that I would have that there. These stickers are from Mina's Happy Life, by the way. And then we move on. I think this is the week of Thanksgiving. These stickers from Isis Ella Jewels. And then the deco stickers are from Let's Get Planned. Mina's Happy Life here with the fashion. And then that's it for that week. We move into December. This is one of my favorite vellums from Isis Ella Jewels. Probably my all-time favorite vellum. I hope they come out with more. <laughs> this is another of the sticker dashboards that I used for December. These daily pages, the base of them, use a lot of stickers from Crafting by the Pound and then some dolls from fabulously creative. This is a bonus calendar that came out with the December DIY planner for patrons. This is a vellum that I printed for another planner that I ended up not using. So I trimmed it down and added it here with washi tape from Simply Gilded. Then here, uh, this was a from scratch spread, which I consider almost all of the spreads in here from scratch, except for the ones where I used a uh, insert and glued it in. But if I had to create the page, draw the page, whatever the case may be, I consider that from scratch. This was a from scratch where I just took the dot grid paper, trimmed it down to the size that I needed and did the spread outside of the planner. Then I glued those pages in. So that was what this was, a horizontal week on two pages. This is my Buffalo plaid spread with doll and deco stickers from Coco's Vision. Very nice. The Hanukkah sticker is from Kel of a Plan. Then we move into the week of my birthday and the week of Christmas. The elf dolls and the other deco stickers are from Let's Get Planned. There's Santa and Mrs. Claus, Santa and his sleigh with the reindeer, very cute. Then this is the last week of the year using deco stickers from Let's Get Planned, doll from Let's Get Planned, washi tape from Simply Gilded. And the Kwanzaa symbols are available to Scrap Craftastic patrons as are the days of the week. And that is pretty much it for the spreads. So these are the only pages that are left blank, um, which is not very much at all. I think I did really great. I used this planner for the whole year. These were uh, some sticky notes where I was writing down some meal ideas, meal plans, and I was going to do a whole meal plan spread here, but it never happened. 
Then I had glued in some inserts where I could track online purchases. I only made it through the end of January before it fell by the wayside. Um, I don't think I really tried that hard. And then I tried to pick it up in March and yeah, it didn't happen. So there's that. And here is the bill payment tracker. I fell off using that in March, I think. Then these last couple of pages, I used them to test a stamp and different inks to see if it would bleed through on the Stalogy paper. And then that's it other than the washi dashboard in the back using my favorite washi tapes from Simply Gilded. So that's it. I have my little cash stash and my little wax paper if I want to test a layout with stickers i normally wouldn't even use that but i have it there just in case so that is the whole year of 2022 in my b6 allergy 365 let, I'm really proud that I was able to, to do this, but let me know in the comments what you think. What was your favorite spread? I'm looking forward to working in my 2023 B6 Stalogy. I can't wait to share the setup with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.